revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played here, including you. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill, I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. 
But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parent's killer? The possibilities are frightening. I only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. Then the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. But do I really want to know?
Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a mugging. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, Harv, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. But everything's been a little busy. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Well, tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Falcone away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. <laughs> this is nothing. You should have seen me before I became boss. I'd show up all beat to hell. Your father had sewn me back together. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. 
until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. It's a damn shame, you ask me. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. There's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> Don't you dare talk about my mother. And hey, why not, kid? I got nothing but good things to say about her. She was the only one that ever had a hold on your father. Until you hired an assassin to kill them both. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that to ah. They're waiting for you in hell! Matoya! Ugh. Put the weapon down! The bastard had to die! Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. Isn't it obvious? She wanted to shut Falcone up for good. I mean, this whole damn force is riddled with corruption. Someone must have got to her, Jim. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. 
issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Oh, everything is such a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain there's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to. No matter what. The reasons why I should have. They were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice! It was saying something about... revolution? Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, I, I, I don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Oh, don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. 
Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. <laughs>